Good morning, I'm getting ready for the day and I wanted to bring y'all along with me. Doing some hair and makeup right now and then I'm going to head over to the park because the weather is finally bearable again. And I wanted to take advantage of that while it is not triple digits and get outside, do some work outside and just have a nice afternoon. Slight change of plans. I am having a very low mental health day, so instead of beating myself up about it, I am going to do something for myself that feeds my soul, and I'm going to bake a little blueberry lemon loaf. I thought that sounded like the perfect little treat for the end of summer, and I just thought it was something productive for me to do, something where I can get out of my head a little bit more, be more mindful in the present moment. So that is what I'm gonna do. Take it along with me. It is Friday and I'm going to get some embroidery work done for my very secret project that I'm working on. Hopefully I will be able to announce it to y'all soon, but in the meantime I am going to be hard at work embroidering all day working on that. Phoebe, really? This is what's currently happening while I'm trying to film. But I also just need to do some chores around the house and do a little bit of prep work for the weekend. So I'm either going to put on something from YouTube or something from Twitch and just start embroidering for a few hours, honestly. 
It's been so cloudy the past few days. I've been absolutely loving it. It is such a welcome change from the heat that we've been having. I'm gonna drink my smoothie. I'm gonna watch some Half Moon Joe on Twitch and work on my embroidery hoop. I'm gonna do that after I finish my smoothie that Jared so graciously makes me every morning. I finished my new hoop and now I get to remove it from its hoop rinse off the stick and stitch paper and add it into my little bag of fabrics with a bunch of finished products that need to be put on the wooden hoop I'm super happy that I finished this hoop I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it done today before Jarrett gets home from work. I love how it turned out as well. A little sneak peek of the next hoop that I will be working on. I haven't yet decided on colors for this one, but I think I want to do some colors, not just black. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of deciding on the fly for each of these. It's been really fun and I have really enjoyed stitching all of these lately. So yes, I'm going to rinse this one off now and... Then I'm probably going to get working on some computer work. I need to try to order a booklet before Comic-Con LA. Um, we'll see if it comes in time. If it doesn't arrive in time for Comic-Con LA, it will at least be here in time for Anime Expo Chibi. I have definitely been procrastinating on ordering this. I was trying to rework how the layouts of my booklets are. I still love the old layout that I have. It's honestly just my work that goes into it that I want to make a little bit more streamlined, a bit more of a quicker process. I commit a lot of work into reformatting it up front right now. Then as I have more and more booklets to create, they'll be a lot easier to create for me, a lot faster to create. And currently that feels like one of the biggest roadblocks in my pattern creation process is getting the booklets finished so I really want to be able to commit to reformatting those probably after my conventions. I have three big conventions coming up in the next two months. I have Comic Con LA, Anime Expo Chibi, and then the Fiber Fair, SoCal Fiber Fair. So those are going to be big conventions all indoors thankfully but I haven't started prepping for them either because of my secret project and I'm so busy right now I don't really have time um, and Comic Con LA is in two weeks so next week I am going to be focusing a lot on con prep so you'll see that in the vlogs to come I did also just get an order today so I'm gonna pack that up right now this is for Jenny I always try to include my little stick and stitch freebies when I have them available so it's just like one or two in a tiny little pack with some instructions and they just ordered a Kotar starter embroidery kit so I'm gonna pack that up real quick and mail that out today dream of one day being able to have actual order packing segments in these videos or just order packing live streams but currently I usually get just about one order a day so I don't really have enough for that but when I do get an order it's usually 
quick and easy for me to just pack up and send right out to you. Jared got the new iPhone. While he sets up the new iPhone, I'm going to go through my little embroidery cart that I have and just clean it up some. I have a lot of random thread that I need to throw away before the cats eat it. And then just miscellaneous projects that I need to organize and just have this be a little bit tidier. seating is back open by the water trying my first mint julep and fresh cookies 